Hello, welcome back to the channel. I'm Cohen Spring. I make YouTube videos to help Caribbean students. Today we want to look at static electricity, bro. And this is in keeping with the CSEC syllabus for physics, Caribbean Examination Council. First thing you should know about static electricity is that static, 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 static means not moving, right? That's what that word means. So we dealing with electricity that not moving. It's like the buildup of charges, but not the flow of charges continuously. But technically the electrons still do move. Eh? So it's a kind of technical thing, but I guess you'll get the hang of it. All right. So this is the entire of physics here. All of physics is um, five, five sections. Yeah, but we want to focus on section D. See section D there, electricity and magnetism. Yeah, that's what we are focusing on. Ignore the doodles that I did. Um, section D consists of seven topics and we will be going through this in about, se uh, not seven, but maybe about between 10 and 20 videos. Eh? It, could get, it could get crazy. And I know some people had problems with this topics with AC and DC, I get requests on that. Logic gates, I got requests on that. And Ohm's law, I got some requests on that. So look out for when those videos come out especially. But if you are studying for exams, this is the video you just bounce up and go. If you are studying to revise for an exam coming up, bro, I'm hitting you everything that's coming in the syllabus here. Just rock back with a juice, popcorn, notes, book. Take down some notes here, brother. All right. So this is electrostatics. Uh, what we are doing in this video, you should recall first things first that an atom, an atom has electrons and a nucleus which consists of protons and neutrons and the protons are positively charged in electrons are negatively charged this is my drawing of them but you really want to look at the electrons because they do all the main set of moving to generate the charges that we're so interested in right now for the static electricity the protons kind of locked up in that nucleus but the electrons can move from surface of one material to another via friction and speaking of friction, you need to know about the story of the polythene and the cellulose acetate rods. What happens if you take a cloth and rub either of them? One of them is going to be negative. It's going to be this guy, the polythene. So if I rub him, he's going to become negative with the cloth. What's happening? Polythene is such a good insulator that it's, it really loves its electrons. It's not going to lose any. In fact, it's going to steal some from the cloth and it's going to get more electrons a uh, higher negative net charge um so he's just going to be negative the extra electrons make the polythene rod negative but if i take the cloth now and hit him on the um, cellulose acetate rod and rub him it's actually going to steal electrons from this and make this guy positive because i mean if you lose electrons and your protons not going anywhere the protons will start to um, rule the territory now because there are more protons than electrons overall so it's going to be positive and the electrons leave behind the protons they are now more positive they are now more positive than negative charges in here let's move on next topic on the syllabus is attraction versus repulsion i think everybody knows that like charges repel and unlike charges attract so if i bring two polythene rods together they're gonna repel especially if i have them on a string so that i know you could see it happening there are videos of that on youtube but if i bring on light charges a negative and a positive they're gonna want to attract right so by the way i did a chemistry video on organic chemistry uh, this has no relation to what i'm doing right now but i just remember it so i'll just put a link there maybe somebody want to see something on organic chemistry look i, I just um I, I read your thoughts organic chemistry there so right there yeah so click on that and go and learn some organic chemistry if you're feeling that. Let's continue with static electricity. This is the story of Bob. Bob. And this is the story of Bob and Hannah, actually. Hannah. So Bob like Hannah, bro. Bob really like Hannah. But Hannah ain't really paying him no attention. So Bob talking to Hannah. He gives her a compliment. Ting, ting, ting. But it's only when Bob jump out with the magic words. I watch Cohen Springer videos that Hannah realized that Bob is a keeper, you know, Bob, Bob, Bob is a man learning his work. So Bob and Hannah, you know, link up and they watch Cohen Springer videos together. Okay, that is really induction. That's how induction happens. Induction. 
And that's the next topic. Induction. Wow. Y'all know how my handwriting rule um, works, right? Suppose we have a material there. The material is neutral. What does that mean? It means the charges are evenly distributed. There's negative charges, there's positive charges, everybody happy, moving about in peace, not too much in one spot, evenly distributed. And what would happen if I bring a polythene rod next to that neutral material? Can you think what will happen? The electrons are like with this so they will want to repel so the electrons are going to run away the protons will want to attract but i mean the protons can't move anywhere remember they are locked down but the electrons can move so they're going to run away because them and want to be around extra negative charges you know and what 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 what, what what's happening here what's what's happening here there's going to be a net positive charge on this side and a net electric charge um sorry negative charge on that side because Positive charges are left exposed here. Negative charges are grouping up there. So it's going to get a dipole. We can call that or we can just say that here is going to become positive. But more, more importantly, a charge has been induced. This is induction. So this is Hannah and this is Bob. And this is why I told you that story just now. Just like with Hannah and Bob, attraction will occur because since here is now positive and here is negative they go on uh, track now but remember the material started off neutral in the beginning it's only the induction that made a positive charge here and caused the attraction to occur here are some examples well actually it's just one example lightning 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 is gonna strike and hit a lightning rod that's things that's that's a rod that people put on their house or buildings or business or big buildings or towers or whatever to stop to stop the lightning from striking it and burning down so let's see let's see how that works the lightning is gonna come up to the rod and there's a heap load of negative charges there and if we look at the rod the rod has the same setup it's neutral it's evenly distributed but when the lightning approaches those electrons gonna clear out of their brother and it's gonna leave a strong positive charge in the top of the rod at the tip of the rod which is pointy and i'll explain why later on in this video and the lightning strikes the tip of that rod because because since the lightning is negative and here is positive it's gonna attract and it's gonna hit the rod and the rod is connected to a ground which just runs down into the earth and the people house don't burn down the building doesn't burn down so that's 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 an example of static electricity a hazard being averted there this is a question for you what would happen if i bring a positive rod the acetate rod you all remember that the acetate rod was positive if i charge him up and I bring him next to a neutral block of something. What what's what's gonna happen? A neutral conductor. Um, this is gonna happen. The electrons are gonna be attracted. So instead of running away now, they're gonna run towards here. And the opposite, they're gonna create a negative charge there. And attraction is gonna occur. So induction, attraction, induction, attraction. That is the vibes right now. All right. So here's some more examples that I want you all to research quickly. Don't spend too long on this, don't end up on no viral video and thing. But you know, you could just type in these things in YouTube and see how it works. Especially the last three, and all of them Van der Graaff generator. This is the big dome thing that people touch and get spiky. Cold leaf electroscope. This is kind of important seeing the, the operation of that. Paint spraying. This is when they charge up the nozzle of the. the whatever is spraying, they charged up the nozzle so that as it sprays, the little droplets of paint or whatever doesn't um, attract to one another so that's cool and this is the electrostatic precipitator um what is that again oh yeah that's when that's that's those chimneys and those industries they put a little something in here so as the smoke comes up it charges here the smoke particle and the smoke particle is attracted to the wall of the chimneys which has an opposite charge 
and then a hammer will beat the wall of the chimney and the smoke will drop down what what this does is essentially stop smoke from going into the atmosphere so look at look at those look at those so we are nearly finished we just need to learn about electric fields which is a region in which an electric charge will experience a force we call these point charges so imagine if you have a point negative charge here and a point negative charge here what is going to happen how is the field going to look you need to learn how the fields look well this is how the field is going to look okay i'm just kidding i'm just kidding what well actually this is what you need to know two positive point charges and the point charges are there that's how we draw them and you should know that the field lines go out of it like that just follow this pattern make sure you draw it over with physics you want to draw every single diagram yeah 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 draw every single diagram and make sure you can do it off of memory before the exam so here's the next diagram to just sit on and draw make sure you can do it because you might think you're, you might think you not understand it you might think you remember this by just watching it but then when it's time to draw it you realize you didn't look at the arrows properly or something so just draw it and make sure your hands feel what your brain's thinking and this is how it would look like with two different plates okay so positive and negative plates and before we had positive and negative point charges so know those three diagrams know to draw them and you should also know what happens um with charge distribution well you see the thing you need to know is that charges um tend to concentrate at at points well it's not that it concentrating it's more to do with um surface to volume ratio so it's just that more positive charge will be felt here it's easier for charges to jump to that point and that's what happened with the lightning rod and that's why we make the the lightning rod pointy so here there'll be a bunch up of charges as 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 well available right so the, the it's it's like it's even here and then it bunches at the point so same thing will happen here it will bunch at this point even there bunch at that point you need to know this eh? i'm not just everything that i'm putting in this video is not for styling a better so make sure and understand and be able to replicate this and kind of say why and think so there'll be a bunch of charges there and then it'll be kind of even running there um for a circle like a, around a circle you expect a nice even distribution even 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 so if it have two it have two all the way around something like that even all the way around well that wasn't so even but next uses hazards you need to be able to see these things i spoke about some of the uses that you can check out already photocopying crop spraying is new spray painting and we talked about that electrostatic precipitator we mentioned that so look up those just see how it works a little bit um but they'll be, may, may just ask you for the list and hazards they may ask you for two two or three hazards but i only give you two here hm, my gosh yeah they may ask you for two let me hope they ask you for two right so lightning burn down your house there's a hazard that that involves static electricity and petrol stations like if you build up static and you come out and you interfere with the gas with the gas which is more expensive right now in trinidad but still pretty cheap compared to other caribbean islands but anyhow so if you go and interfere the gas and you spark or something you you could end up in a situation there now. so that's some hazards there and that brings us to the end of static electricity tct all right so you can subscribe do the usual you know press like if you enjoyed the video if it really helped you if you want to see more of this let me know what you interested in any comments electric current video will be up as soon as i'm done with that and then there's some organic chemistry you can always skip to that and learn some organic chemistry until next time blessings yeah really anything else to see just just hold it down brother hold it down sister um, good luck in your exams